is this a Giga Parks exclusive? It is not. Okay. But because we're the only ones here at the show, and uh -huh. Patrick with Geocon really wanted everybody to see it, he asked us to put this on here so that you guys can see this. On Tank Radio! So play that awesome intro video! I'm here with Jason at Giga Parts to explain this awesome new... What, what is this? What, what's the best way to describe this? I would describe this as a wall clock that will show you the world. Show us the world. In every aspect of it. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. And it's the uh, Geocron? Geocron Atlas version 2. Version 2. Right now we're running their beta software that's going to be available in a couple of weeks to everybody. So this is a world exclusive of the software. Uh-huh. So let's get into it, shall we? Yes, please. Awesome. So the first thing you're looking at is just its very most basic stripped down view. You have gray line, you have where the sun is, and it is also showing us based on where the sun is right here, mm -hmm. what season we're in. So right now, we're getting ready to hit equinox. So that's why your gray line's starting to look a little bit more straight up, straight down versus that classic bowl shape that everybody's used to. Uh -huh. um, and this is exactly where the sun is at on the map right now. So noon is always the center of the map, and the world will slowly drift from right to left as the day goes. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, right now, we are we are in this zone right here. So we are in the 12 o'clock hour, and over here in China, it is one o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So there's that, and we'll start the customization. And then there's a million things that we can do to make this exactly the way you want it to be. Uh huh. So, starting with the map. So that was the human map. Now this is what it looks like if you had this unimpeded view of the world. Oceanic is going to show you all of the deep trench areas under the ocean. Oh, that's cool. Ham radio is going to give you your vertical lines so you know where that's at, everything is at. So if you know somebody is over in the P zone, that's you can sit there and know exactly where they're at on that. Mixed. Is just going to sit there and just kind of pull all those same th things, uh, same things together, and make it as one. But it makes it a little bit busier. Mm -hmm. So since this is an amateur radio show, let's just keep it on the amateur radio yes. one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now let's go up here to layers. So for starters, right now we have we have nighttime, which is the difference between light and day, uh -huh. is at eighty percent opacity. So if that's a little too dark and you want to see a little bit more behind that map, we can go down here and just kind of lighten it up a little bit. And as you can see, it's just slowly lightening it up a little bit so that every aspect of this thing can be exactly what you want it to be. Mm -hmm. um, the human light's opacity is where the population of the world is at based on the night sky and what they're viewing. Mm -hmm. So you can tell, like for instance, over here in Egypt, everybody lives along the Nile River. As you can see, there's nobody out there in the desert. You can have shipping lanes, so we can actually see the the, the highways of the seas that all the boats take. Mm -hmm. We'll look at some boats here in a minute and some planes. Air traffic's the same way. Air pollution. Air pollution? You know, a lot of people are always concerned about that kind of stuff. So if we go in here and look at air pollution, we can quite literally turn it up a little bit. And simultaneously, you're going to start seeing where the air quality is. Is this good. all live data? It is live. 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 And as you, what's weird is you can actually see how far that drifts out. And if you ever, ever wanted to know where the world lives, we can turn up population to do the exact same thing. And that will show you where the world lives. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the United States has kind of spread out a lot. Yes. Compared to, say, India. Definitely over in Asia. They, 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 I think they got, those guys really just kind of pack in there, don't they? Yes, they do. So let's go up here to pins. Pins is going to give you the ability to put where you are or where you want to be or anything you want to draw attention to on the map. For instance, right now with Geocron, because this is their little product, has Geocron's headquarters right there. So yep. this is their coordinates to their headquarters. And you can remove it or you can simply add it. So you can have a whole list of your most favorite places on there. And it's always glanceable at a moment's notice on the map. It's really cool. Live data. You can quite literally see how many cases of COVID there are in anywhere in the world at a moment's notice. Is that something you think you guys want to see? Yeah, yeah. 
No, we're, we're COVID out. We're COVID out. Uh, we're out. COVID out. I hear you. But I see satellites. What, what can you see with the satellites? <laughs> <laughs> satellites. I, I, you know, I'm going to show you this. It's going the, the map. The map's going to go crazy here in a minute. Let's look at how all the SpaceX. I want to show you all the SpaceX. We can single out just can, SpaceX. Just SpaceX. So we're going to go here and we're going to go to SpaceX. I want to tell it to show all 1,648 satellites. Let's turn that on. Wow. So that is the geographical location in real time, constantly tracked of every Starlink satellite there is. Now, I know you like space. Yes. You can actually tell where the latest launches are based on how tightly they're stacked up against each other because yeah. it takes a couple months for those satellites to get in their, their stationary yes. orbit. So here's a cluster and here's a cluster from the last ones. And I it, think like, this might be the last one. You think so? Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's the least spread out. Yeah, yeah they're so stacked. Mm -hmm. But uh, do you know how many amateur radio satellites there are? I'm going to say eight or nine. That's how I'm, eight the ones nine? I'm familiar with. Let's turn off, first off, let's turn off Starlink. Yeah. <laughs> Starlink, I like what you're doing. Keep it up. Mobile. I want a mobile Star Starlink antenna. Why can't they be mobile? Let's go take a look at the 213. 213? 213 satellites for amateur radio. And here they are. Here oh, they are. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and it's going to sit there and track in real time. Let's back out. And these satellites are hauling. These things are moving. Yes. You can literally see it, see, you see it moving? Yes. It's tracking it real time. I know for a fact that Bobcat 1, 15 minutes ago, was right there. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And the tails is where it's coming from. Right. Okay. So it was, it was here and is going in this direction. Yeah. So as the longer the tail is, is the length of time. So, so you got CubeSats. Yeah. Oh, you know, while we're sitting here talking about stats and stuff, let's talk about right here. You see this purple line and this orange line right here? Yes. This is the ISS right here. Oh, that's big. And that's Hubble. Hubble? Looks like Hubble's getting ready. Let me back out and show you, uh, get rid of the satellites real quick. I was wondering what that would stand for. Hubble Space Telescope and International Space Station. Oh, oh that's cool. Everything we've shown you so far is yeah. the standard software. Uh -huh. So no matter what, you're going to get what we've shown you. Well, let's talk about what you guys are really interested in, because I know what you guys like. Earthquake layers. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's cool. I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, I'll turn it on right now, but we'll get down and talk about it here in a second. Is the ham radial buzzle configurator. Now, what's really cool about this is it's going to give you the ability to spotter. It's going to show you all the clusters. Yes. So now we got turned on, you're going to start seeing all the active clusters out there popping up into life. So you got DX clusters. We can shut there and tell to show the cluster, the call sign for those DX clusters. Uh -huh. We can sit here and factor out different band filters. So if you want to focus strictly on one particular wavelength, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Custom call sign. You can put your own call sign, and it's going to show up here in a few seconds. There you go. There's ours. Oh, that's cool. So, must maximum usable frequency is going to show up as large numbers showing you exactly how good that particular area is. That's, that's good. That's, that's helpful enough. information. To have. It is. It's really awesome. So there's that. So, you know, we're looking at 19 over here, 15. But as you start getting a little bit farther away, it starts getting a little bit better, depending on where you're at in the ground line, stuff like that. Um, AMSAT satellites, you can quite literally just select AMSAT satellites and it'll break, it breaks it all out separately. So here we go, here's some of those right now. Uh-huh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But the picture is this thoughts. Uh-huh. What everybody's excited for is the solar terrestrial weather. And I can turn on solar image, solar system and aurora. And what it's going to do is go overlay this information directly onto the map itself in real time. So it is looking at all this data live in real time. And there it is. So here's your solar system. Uh -huh. And it shows you in real time where every planet is in relationship to every other planet. Kind of cool. But here is all your solar information. So at a glance, you can sit there and look and see what bands are or are not open. But I will tell you, I get beat up all the time. They always tell me, 
Call CQ. Don't worry about the vans. Don't be a scope head, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. All right, so right now we're looking at the live Aurora data. So if you're here, that is what the Aurora looks like right now. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Now, remember we talked about the earthquake data. I laughed and said, don't worry about it. Yeah. I turned it on, and I was going to show you this. Here is every single earthquake that is a Richter force four or more scale live now. 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 So as of 1220, which was the last one, there was a 4.6 in Ecta, Alaska. Wherever that is up here, there it is, up here in this corner, uh -huh. is where it is. Um, the most active I've seen right now, you've got the South Sandwich Island region, which is right here. They have a live active volcano going right now, so it's basically just shaking the ground nonstop. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's the, uh, that is the gist of all the information. Now we go back up here, you have the air net for hooking up your Wi-Fi, time, system information, updates and stuff like that. But as you can see, you can have as much or as little information as you want and it's completely configurable by you for what you're interested in. That, that, this is an awesome product. Mm -hmm. I, I really like it. It's been it's been amazing. Yeah, you guys, it really it really wants to be on a 4K display. It could be a 4K monitor. Mm -hmm. It could be a 4K TV. It could be a hundred inch like I got in my house. But it's got to be 4K. So if you want the best possible detail, make it 4K. It will work for 1080p. But you're going to start losing a lot of this resolution mm -hmm. if you do that. So what do you think? I like it. When's it go uh, live again? Uh, in about two weeks. Two weeks. Yep. So two, from two weeks of. Yes, August 22nd, so whatever that math is. By the way, guys, there is no company I've worked with that's more responsive to customer feedback uh -huh. than Geocron. So let them know what you want. They're going to make it happen for you. They're in the, they're in the market of making everything you need accessible to you. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you there, Jason, for I taking the time. It. Thank you very much.